What's up guys and welcome back to The Tenants. So uh, things are going pretty well for us. You guys know last episode we kind of flirted with bankruptcy, but uh, we ended up looking all right. We actually, so I've been I've been grinding since then and we actually, we, we have the, uh, the whole loan paid off here. So we are free and clear. We've got $900,000 in the bank, which is pretty exciting. But um, when I was first starting to, you know, do extra jobs and try to build up money and pay off the loan and stuff like that, we actually missed our first bank payment and uh, we got a text from the bank. I wonder if it's still going to be in our text messages. Let me see. Do you guys see anything? Oh, from the bank. Um, you didn't have enough money to pay off the monthly installment. If this situation continues, some of your properties might be confiscated to pay off the debt. So that was a little bit scary. We, we almost got repoed there. They almost made a, a margin call on us, but um, we're all good to go, baby. And uh, our next objective for $5,000 and 150 XP is to sign a lease with rent over ten thousand dollars now you guys know if we take a look at the the you know situation we have over here i'm keeping it rolling oh shoot we got our, an earthquake coming in here honestly this is a pretty effective way of doing things like i i really enjoy it it makes it easy for us i'm just gonna go ahead and send a pro in because we got we got money here i don't have time but i've got money it's like we've got new reviews coming in everything's looking pretty good but um, this is a money maker. I, I, I can't lie. It's doing well for us. I, I don't think we're going to change it. If anything, maybe we put some nicer decorations and stuff in, add a swimming pool. I mean, we, we could add a swimming pool. Should we do that? I say we do that for, oh, actually, we, we aren't going to be able to renovate it until we kick people out. So we might end up doing that towards the end of the episode. I don't know. I, this thing is, it, it's solid though. Like it, the only thing I want to do is add better furnishings so we can increase the rent prices maybe a nice little outdoor area and stuff like that but um i've got my eyes on this so this is the most expensive um it's like our, our renovations went well the most expensive property currently available to us i mean it's on a nice street here my goodness eventually we're going to be able to buy this bad boy camden place which looks insane super modern i like that a lot but it's next to this modern house over here. I mean, it, it looks pretty solid. 304 square meters. So it's going to be the biggest property we've ever, you know, purchased. Four bedrooms, one floor built in 2018. It looks like it's in a pretty good neighborhood. So let's just go ahead and purchase this thing. And it's uh, interesting. So I, I thought it was already going to be completed. But it looks like we are going to have to renovate this entire thing. So let's just go ahead and start cleaning and um, get to work. Um, we've got a lot of work to do here. Obviously, we've got the main house. We've got like a detached garage area, something like that. Maybe turn that into a workshop or something. Maybe add a little pool area. We're gonna make this very swanky. We've even got nice foosball table we were able to repair. We've got an old school pinball machine here, able to repair that as well. Nice job, Unc, I appreciate it. So, um, you know, our, our, our goal here is to sign a lease. It's worth over 10 grand. Uh, I'm thinking for the first time in a while, since we're looking pretty financially set, I'm thinking our, our our deal is going to be we're going to rent this as one thing to one family, one tenant. So, um, obviously going to want to make it fun. We're going to want to add some bedrooms, some nice bathrooms, maybe a game or some sort of a, like, you know, living space for people to be able to hang out in. This, this is going to be our first one where we have a lot of space to work with inside and out. And we're able to make it, you know, kind of the ideal setup of what you would want for a, uh, for a family. This is going to be pretty, pretty crazy. Let's, uh, get our remodeling shoes on and see what we've got going on. So I'm thinking you, you first walk in, I mean, this, this could be a little bedroom over here. We could honestly, I mean, this, this could be a bedroom. We could have, you know, kind of a big one or would we want, you know, maybe the master could be off over here and it has like a door out to the pool or something. This is, uh, it's, it's kind of an interesting setup. That's, that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. This is probably going to be the master. This could be a bedroom here. I'm thinking bedroom here, bathroom. That's going to be, you know, for people, everyone to use. Um, this could be kind of like an open entry area, maybe like a little sitting reading room, something like that. We've got two front doors, which is kind of weird. So you're going to come over here. I mean, where, where do we want to put the, the kitchen? We need to make another bedroom, we need a kitchen, and we need a, uh, kind of a living room area. I'm thinking, hmm, I'm thinking maybe, let's, let's put the bedroom in the corner, just put it right there, that's gonna be solid there. And kind of, just an, an open floor plan, I guess, is, is what we're gonna be going with. We probably, I mean, we, we could have kind of an adjoined bathroom to the master right here, wouldn't be a bad idea. Um... 
Hmm, so this is gonna be a four bed, two bath. I mean, that's that's pretty solid. We could even do a second, a second bathroom right here if we wanted. It's just kind of an odd shape. I, I mean, I like the, the idea of the kitchen opening up to the, uh, the the hangout room. We just, we have a lot of space in here that I'm not sure what I want to deal with. I guess we could make this another bedroom right here. What if we made this a bedroom and then we demolished this? And then we had a big open area here. That's, that's not too bad. Actually, I, I think what we're going to do, we're going to make a uh, kind of a, a maintenance and, and laundry room in here. So we're going to be able to keep the... Uh, little electrical panel and then we should have a little heater somewhere we're gonna put these in here then this can be a laundry room that we can access from the main area kind of a weird spot for it honestly this we should we should make this the laundry room back here that would make a, a lot more sense we're gonna make that the laundry room and then we're gonna have a bathroom that points out to the main hangout area so that's uh that's pretty solid. Gonna grab some doors here. I'm, I'm thinking let's let's go big big boy doors here. We've got the glass in there with the bamboo. Yeah, this this looks nice. So we're gonna throw all these in. Throw one in there for the master bath. And it looks like we're all good to go. I guess start with the smallest room over here. So our laundry room. I'm thinking, you know, something kind of fun. We're gonna go with that for the floors. And then maybe, you know, kind of calm it down a little bit on the walls. Maybe like a milky gray. Something like that. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. Um, what else do you need in a laundry room? Do we actually... I don't know what it's under. I know... Oh, we have a workshop section now. We're going to be able to add fire extinguishers and stuff. That's going to be great for the backyard. For the, uh, the you know, detached space back there. Um, I know there's, there's like a laundry basket. Let's get the expensive one because we got money. We got time today. I guess we can have our uh, our different, you know, clothes. We could put socks in one, t-shirts in the other, something like that. Let's grab some, uh, you know, obviously going to want to make it nice in here because it's it's not really the, uh, the ideal place to be. Something like that's actually kind of fun. So we've got a, a giant painting on the wall. We could have, you know, maybe like a, a mirror. Kind of a weird thing to look at yourself when you're doing laundry, but... It's, it's, you know, whatever makes you happy. We can have a little plant on the wall, of course. Wouldn't be a, uh, a built-by T. Martin household without some plants. I'm gonna move this over here. I just kind of want to get these out of the way. There we go. That's, that's a little bit nicer. I'm pretty sure we have a mirror next to our laundry room, which is weird. Maybe that's why I put it there. But yeah, it's pretty nice little laundry room. I like it. So, moving on to the bedrooms. I mean, I'm... I'm thinking we could keep it fairly the same. You don't you don't got to reinvent the wheel here. Uh, definitely gonna want to get the nicest beds we possibly can. So let's um, I mean let's let's just give them all the same bed to be honest. Have them all facing the door. That looks good. This is the nicest bed that we have. I know there is one giant special bed you can do, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure where it is. We could actually we could probably do a bunk bed in one of these. Wouldn't be a bad idea in case it's it's a kids room. Yeah, let's let's give the kids the, the room with the door to the outside, Trev. That's a good idea. We're just gonna stick with it. All right, so we've got all that, and then we're gonna throw our master bed in here, right underneath the window. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so bedrooms started. I mean, I'm I'm thinking we really we we don't have to get too crazy. I'm, I'm thinking we're. We're gonna make these pretty much the same in terms of furniture. I would think it'd be kind of cool to put put like a little, you know, inflatable bed here in the the kids' room just because it's it's you know they're having sleepovers stuff like that. So that all looks pretty nice. I mean, obviously we're gonna want to make make the bedrooms nice. I, I think this is where we could potentially you know kind of mix it up a bit. Like let's make this room a, a little bit more girly. You know, be 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 brave. Let's give her some, uh, of course, she's going to want want some plants on the wall. So we're going to do a nice little plant there. Um, let me see. Maybe like a little a little vase in one of the corners. Kind of ran out of corners, but we could put something like that. Is that the best one? Maybe this white one? No, let's, let's do the big, the big yellow one there. So we've got that. Um, you know, maybe a, a dream catcher up above the bed. That's actually kind of cool. We could put Be Brave over here. And, um, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. This could be a, a boy's room too. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to judge, you know, it is 2020 after all. I'm going to put some flowers, uh, there on the, the nightstand and, uh, we're going to go ahead and let's, let's make this, let's make this nice. That is kind of crazy. Some, some pink, pink flooring. Do we have good pink walls? Ooh, something like that. Okay. I like it. This one's a, uh, a football player, you know, casual, just keeping a, a 
you know, giant bar in your room. We're going to have a, uh, a few, you know, dumbbells that we're going to be able to use. The most expensive ones, of course. We've got that going on. Let me see what else. Work, work hard, play hard, baby. We're trying to get that D1 college scholarship. Definitely going to want some, uh, some mirrors on the wall to be able to see ourselves. We're not picking out outfits or anything, but we're, we're getting straight yoked, baby. So let's get, get those, get those centered. I think one more might look a, a little bit better. I wish there was a way to perfectly center it with the wall. I don't think we're going to be able to center it, but yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, let's see, you know, what, what else would a, a jock want? Maybe he does a little bit of hunting in his spare time. So we're going to throw the, the antlers up there. Um, you know, maybe, maybe this underneath the antlers, kind of a little inappropriate, but we're, we're going to rock with it. Go ahead and keep a clock up there. So you always know how many reps you've done and, and what amount of time. And let's, let's check out our floors and walls here. So this is going to be a little tougher. I'm thinking, you know, maybe some, some oak panels and uh, then on the walls. I mean, we're simple, baby. Just some brown. Yeah. That looks pretty nice. Finally, we've got our master here. So, I mean, the, the money's got to be made somehow. If we've got a big, expensive house like this, you're going to have to work. So, we're going to throw that in there. Let's get a nice office chair. We're definitely going to want the uh, the big bad boy laptop. How come we can't? Oh, there we go. We can place that on there. Or we could get the full PC. I'm thinking the big, the big boy laptop. So, we're going to have that. You know, maybe a... Uh, a little little shelf above it to, to have some of our like little you know trinkets from around the world that we've been able to collect over the years something like that some expensive plants bam there it is all right so we've got that going on i mean what else what else would you have in here some really eclectic interesting artwork on the walls when I mean, this is from our bathroom we probably don't want the same thing in there maybe like a sunset Something like that. Not bad. Maybe a world map with all the places that we've traveled to. We could put that up over there on the wall. Some interesting pieces on the nightstands. Yeah, these are these are pretty cool. I like that. Is there anything we should put over in this corner? Maybe like some sort of an interesting light. A piano, maybe. Just something something big and, and you know, screams uh, luxury. We haven't put any TVs on any walls. We're definitely going to want to put some TVs on the walls. Might not need it, actually. I mean, we could have a TV out in the main area. Move that there. Move this here. I'm thinking. I'm thinking the master needs a big TV. Daddy wants a TV here, so we're we're gonna we're gonna throw that up on the wall. Let's get it centered with the bed, and then we could center this with this wall. Bam. That uh, looks pretty good. I don't want to overcrowd things, so I'm I'm feeling like that's pretty solid. Maybe kind of a cool little lamp over here in the corner. That's not bad. Could even put like a, a little chair or something. Kind of a little sofa little recliner yeah that's that's pretty nice little reading area we, we have books right those are dvds we have books we do have books so we could we could kind of put put a little pile of books next to that get them angled nicely little reading nook maybe like a little rug be nice be able to you know have your feet on it kind of maybe something like this yeah it's kind of a nice little area. We got that. All right. What are we going to do for our uh, our walls and the floors? I'm thinking for floors. And we've kind of had a, a bit of a wood, wood, you know, deal going on here. So we're going to go with that. I, I honestly really, really like the brown on the wood. That looks pretty good. I almost like a little bit, maybe a little bit lighter of a brown. Brick might be kind of cool. Brick's actually... I like that. Last but not least, we've got our fourth bedroom here. This is going to be the kids' room, so we're obviously going to have some fun with this. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, for the, the flooring, probably something fairly similar to what we've had going on. I actually might like carpet. I'm going to go with some carpet in there, and then for the walls, we're going to want something funky. That's, that's kind of cool. I like the blue. Ooh, what about something like this? Yeah, some tropical vibes. Do we want green flooring? I feel like the green on green's a little bit much. Um... Purple flooring is a bit much. We've got Pine Tavern hardwood. That's kind of cool. I like that. All right, so we've got that. I mean, what? Oh, oh, this is kind of cool too. We've got like city skylines. I feel like it's it's hard it's hard to beat the plants. Those are pretty awesome. So we've got a jungly, you know, almost Jurassic Park themed room. Let me see for like, do we have any crazy seats or anything we could throw in here? I don't really know. Now, obviously, they're going to want... They, they probably want a TV. We're going to give them a TV on the wall. 
We're gonna take the uh, the little thing underneath here, and then we're gonna get him a game console. We're gonna give him the uh, the retro, maybe on one side, and then they can have the uh, the future on the other side. So they got a little bit of each. Could probably move this over by the door, maybe. Eh, it doesn't really fit anyway. We're gonna get rid of that. So we've got that there. I mean, that's that's pretty solid for a kids' room. I uh, I don't mind that at all. Let me let me move this whole thing over center it a little bit better all right so bedrooms are done let's knock out this bathroom real quick this is going to be a simple one Bam, that looks pretty good I, I like that you know we've got the the finest accoutrements here do we look at this look at this toilet i just put in here this thing is 720 dollars better have a built-in bidet or something like that but we've got some cool polka dot we'll get the most expensive shower that looks uh that looks pretty good there I guess next up, we should probably take on the master bath. Now, it's kind of an unfortunate shape. I'm going to put the most expensive tub in here. It looks like we do have just enough room to be able to sneak that in. We can put the, the big, long, uh, you know, sink here. Put the, the most expensive toilet next to it. And uh, it's it's kind of an odd shape, but it, it gets the job done. I'm just I'm literally picking the most expensive stuff we possibly can for each each item. Let's put the toilet paper above the toilet just to kind of freak people out a little bit. Mirror up on the wall, mirror over here, so you can do your makeup and whatever else. Maybe a little little plant. We have space for a plant. It'd be cool to, oh, that's a really big plant. A lot of these are really big plants. It'd be cool to have something in between those, but it looks like we don't don't really have enough space. Maybe just something, something small, right, right like that. That's a little bit too big, too. Maybe like a little little ship or something. I mean, that's kind of weird, but I guess we'll, we'll throw that in there. Let's take a look at our walls. I mean, that's a bit much. That's not bad. I really like the, the blue. Light blue or darker blue. I'm going to go with the darker blue there. And then on the floors, I mean, might as well keep the hardwood going. That looks, that looks pretty solid. We could even do some sort of a, you know, some sort of a, a decoration in here. Something up on the walls. Kind of like the big pictures and stuff. Maybe something like this. I mean, that's that's kind of cool, I guess. And maybe that over there. Just to keep the walls looking nice. So now we've got this big open space here, which is pretty exciting. I'm thinking... I mean, let's let's start with the kitchen. It's going to be open concept. The kitchen is going to open up to everything. So I'm, I'm thinking... Let's put some... Um, hmm. We're obviously going to want the most expensive stuff. At the same time, I kind of li I like the white cabinetry. It just kind of keeps things light and airy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna center that with the window. We have a lot of space to work with here. So let's uh, I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna put this on the other side. I'm thinking we could do a range. I'm gonna go with the white one there just because it it matches. We're gonna be able to do another one, and then I'm thinking the fridge next to that i keep moving these around when we don't have to so we're gonna put the fridge here along the ends we're gonna have a uh i guess a, another one here we're definitely gonna want a big island and then i'm trying to think of a way to huh i'm thinking if we do something like this if we put these here this is making a nice island but then also like a little breakfast bar that you can potentially walk up to and, and eat at I mean it's we're getting kind of similar to, to my house um, I mean that it's an odd ooh it's an okay okay time living in your apartment that's fine I'll see you later Stef Stefan Stefan let me let me work on this a sec I'm literally just recreating my own kitchen here just because I, I feel like it works it works well in this space it's hard to, to see a big open space and just kind of go with it, you know what I mean? So that this this is looking pretty good. Where's the fridge we want to use? I guess we could do we could do this this big boy right here. Should we double fridge it up? And we got we got the money. Shoot, that one's kind of in front of the door though. I think a single fridge is good. So yeah, we, we've got a giant island area with a little bar here. Can we do like some bar stools? Is there a bar stool? Looks like we've got some bar stools we could potentially put here. So I'm gonna put these along here. Yeah, this this looks pretty nice. Got a nice little breakfast bar. Cook up some food, serve it right there. It's complete. The only thing is is this this little guy back here. I mean, we nobody's gonna be able to access it, but we we kind of we kind of need it there just to, to you know exist in that corner. Let me take a look at some of the the kitchen things. I mean, we're we're gonna have you know of course you're gonna have the the blender, you're gonna have the coffee machine. 
Let's go ahead and get these guys lined up. We're gonna have a, you know, a kettle over here near the stove. That is one of the biggest kettles I've ever seen in my entire life. We don't have space for a hood, unfortunately. Ooh, this is a nice corner piece. I wish we had that and the white stuff there. Uh, obviously gonna have a, uh, a microwave. We can throw that, that boy right there in case you don't want to throw anything in the oven or whatever else. You're gonna be able to just kind of, you know, nuke it in the mic. We're gonna have a little little toaster there is there anything else we're looking for i think i think we're a-okay now i'm thinking for like decorations and stuff i know we had that really nice long planter we could do something like this along the sinks so we could do two of them would look pretty nice yeah that's pretty cool we could have you know where's we, we had some of those really big plants we could throw throw something like this over here like this guy's pretty nice i'm gonna put that there uh, we've got an ancient grandfather clock. That's kind of cool. It's unfortunate we can't put any any cabinets up on the walls or anything. But I'm gonna I'm gonna put some more flowers in this area. Your kitchen should be your sanctuary. It should be a nice place for you to be able to hang out, spend time with family. Guess we could put some plants up on the walls. Um, yeah. All right. Kind of kind of got it working here. Not too bad. Now this is gonna open up to our game room over here. So I'm thinking, like, let's, let's, we're not gonna sell this. We're gonna move this out of the way for now. We're gonna look for a TV. We're gonna put four of these bad boys all lined up on the walls. Game day is gonna be hosted at this household. We've got arcade games, pinball machines, all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some of this stuff over here. Dude, this is, I mean, this is incredible. I would, I would love something like this. Move this guy over here. Put it in space for people to do it. Is there a pool or billiards? Might be called billiards. Nope. Doesn't doesn't have that. Is there any sort of... I don't even know where you would keep this stuff. It's not office. It'd be in the living room, right? Hmm. I'm not even sure where you get this stuff from. Maybe special. Ah, special. Okay. We're going to have a dartboard on the wall. Let's, let's have that over there. Looks pretty good. We've got barrels, weights... We've got like a little easel that doesn't really fit in. We've got a, a pinball. Oh, that's the same thing we already have. Um, treadmill, piano, wall-mounted speakers. Dude, this is sick. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put these pretty much. I mean, we're gonna have surround sound here. What do you need? Seven seven points of it. I don't think we're gonna have seven points, but I'm gonna try to get these appropriately set up around the house. Oops, we want to move this. Get it one over there. Maybe one down. You boys. A little bit of a perfectionist, but yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm actually, I'm going to move, I'm going to move these so everything's on the same walls. Some cool lamps in each corner would make sense here. So let's get those guys set up. Uh, I mean, we're going to have to have all sorts of consoles and stuff. Ooh, we've got giant corner speakers. That, that is actually pretty cool. We're going to do that instead of the lamps. So let me just go ahead and, and move this guy back into the corner. Do the same thing over here. Couches. I mean, we don't really have that amazing of couches available to us yet but we're just gonna put two of these side by side i'm gonna put some of these you know nice little um organization things shelves i guess you could call it you know kind of a, a weird concept Trev. but yeah we're gonna have a, a game console we're gonna have retro consoles we've got to get dvd players oh, oh we've got wii's Ah, oh, shoot. That's fine. We don't we don't need it. I'm going to pretend like these are games. We're going to have these under each one. I guess this is technically actually a game, so that looks pretty good. Dude, this is this is a sick setup. Maybe some cool lights up on the walls that are going to, you know, go down on top of the game consoles here would be uh would be kind of cool. I'm trying to think of what else. We've got a lot of just really unique stuff here. A classy audio system and we we kind of already the, the audio is on our phone we don't need an actual speaker it's gonna connect to the rest of the house maybe some cool bean bags we could place these on each side I mean we're getting a little bit close to the foosball table but that's that's not bad we could maybe should we put put them both on this side or maybe just have one I feel like the one gets the job done definitely gonna need some uh, some tables to kick our feet up on. That's a pretty nice setup. Dude, this, I mean, this looks pretty cool. I, I, I like it. You know, I'm, I'm trying to take advantage of all the, the cool and special stuff we could possibly have. Oh, shoot. We've got an earthquake coming in. Um, security cameras. I feel like that just kind of mucks everything up a little bit. Just kind of makes everything. Ooh. Oh, there's anime figures that we could put in there. How kawaii. I really wish we had more decorations to be able to use. I like, this is my, my favorite 
the Miami. Is that my Mia Miami painting? It's like Miami. Uh, we've got that. I mean, this is kind of a cool little photo frame, but that's small. I mean, I I don't I don't want to make it too crazy. I don't want to make it too you know jumbled up and and clustered and stuff. I feel like this is pretty solid. A little statue somewhere might not be bad, but again, I just I, I don't I don't want to mess it up too much. So what what do we want to do for flooring here? I mean, I feel like we've done hardwood pretty much all all throughout, so we could do more of a hardwood. Which wouldn't be bad. I'm thinking making that. Ah, eh, I kind of like having it a little bit different. We're going to keep that room as it is. So this room was carpet, right? I'm pretty sure that was carpet. We've got hardwood in here. Should we do something different? I mean, something like that could be kind of cool. We could do a marble, but I feel like that doesn't really go with the rest of the house. We've got a gray hardwood. Ash hardwood. Ooh, that's kind of nice. I don't mind that at all. And then we could go with... with you know, since this is pretty modern, we could go with some sort of a gray wall. Now, if we have the details in the hardwood, we probably want a, a plain gray wall. So something like that, but maybe a little bit darker. What about something like this? And that's a little bit too dark. Is there more of a middle ground? Something like that is pretty crazy. I don't think we want to go that far. Ooh, I like this. Got kind of a, a hue going on. Like a, a color change. I actually like that for this room. Shoot, no, I don't. We're going to go back to that. What do we want... Could go with a gray or like a, a brown. I'm thinking a gray. Could go with something like this. We need darker than that. Something like that. Maybe our flooring's just not matching up. Oh, that's a cool flooring. I actually really like that. What what material is that? It's laminate. I mean, laminate's super cheap. I wouldn't really use laminate in a house like this. But that, dude, that I like that flooring a lot. So we're gonna roll with that. Could maybe even brighten it up a little bit. Something like that's not bad. It's tough. It, it, it's an interesting, it's an interesting house, interesting look. I do feel like this wall is super, super, uh, super random. I was kind of hoping maybe we could, we could add something there, but, um, hmm. I mean, it'd have to be something hanging. Let's just do some plants. When in doubt, plant it out. So we're, we're going to put, you know, maybe three, three rows of plants here. We'll look, uh, we'll look pretty nice. Yeah, this, this is a cool spot. So that's the main house there. Looking pretty good. I, I actually, I, I like what we've done with it. Dude, this, this, we've never gone this in-depth with a, a setup before. So hopefully people really end up liking this. Now, our final thing is going to be our workshop out here. Now, I'm thinking for a workshop, I mean, floors, you're going to want something basic. You're just going to want some, some concrete, some cements. We've got that. We've got this. We've got this. I feel like that looks pretty industrial. We could also do like a slate. Slate's a little bit fancy though. I'm going to go with the, the workshop concrete. Of course, it's called it's called workshop for the walls. Probably something, you know, fairly, fairly similar. We could do gray walls. We could do white walls. We could do, you know, anything just kind of basic. Something like that looks pretty good. Let me take a look at what we have for furniture. So we've got this new workshop category I haven't seen before. We've got cabinets. Pretty nice. We've got first aid kits, decorations, boxes table saws we're definitely gonna have a table saw we're gonna have a tire rack We've got new shelves we're gonna have a workbench file box we could maybe stack some of those i mean it doesn't really give us much if you want me to be honest but we're, we're just gonna we're gonna use what we have fire extinguisher on the wall over here i mean there's there's really not much we're gonna be able to do we could put a shelf up and then have you know a, a first aid kit in case you need it i mean that's we don't have many workshop options opened up yet. One thing I, I do think I'm going to do, we're going to come in here. We're going to build a... V oh, we can't, we can't build in the extended thing. I was going to build a very tiny bathroom because out back, of course, we are going to throw in a pool, baby. All right, what do we... How do we get outside? Let's let's give ourselves the, uh, the nicest pool that we possibly have. We don't have... I thought we had an in-ground pool option. Maybe it was only for the... Uh, the, the governor's place. So we're going to have a little pool back here. I mean, we, we we just don't have a lot of stuff unlocked yet. I'm thinking a, you know, a fountain up front. Front doors over here. So we're going to put a fountain in right here. Um, I mean, we've got, we've got pool chairs we can lay out with. Reds are more expensive, but I, I like the white ones a bit better. So we're going to go with something like this. We can have a, a couple of these boys. Again, I mean, we're, we're kind of... We're kind of struggling a little bit from a uh, an unlock perspective. I have a little flamingo out there. I have a little barbecue out there. 
there's not not a lot for us to work with so um, i'm thinking i'm thinking we're gonna call that a wrap obviously we're gonna have to unlock some more stuff as we go along but i'm feeling pretty solid about this uh, this is a cool house this is a very cool house so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it we're gonna begin our open house whole apartment the whole thing put it on the radio so the entire city knows about it and our goal if we've done it right is to get over 10k on our rent so let's let's see what we've got going on so we've got our, our first person over here uh holly ponce she's an influencer also a child care worker makes 89k we're looking we're looking for a higher roller than that if you want me to be honest 85k she's a cashier i mean let me let me do a background check let me check out what you're up to 75k she's the richest person we've seen thus far so let's take a look she's got no history she's got no criminal report but she is 710k in debt i mean if it's the bank's money, I'm gonna take it. It's it's not on me. That makes me a little bit worried, though. I I, I don't I don't trust you with paying paying 10k. This person's 42 years old. Let's take a look at how they're looking. Looks like we've got a bad tenant history, so we're gonna ask them to leave. Gamer housekeeper, 45 years old. Um, you just you just go ahead and take care of that for me, please. Oh my gosh, we have so many text messages coming in. Let me let me check out our criminal reports. Six hundred and forty thousand dollars in debt. We got a lot of broke bitches out here. Twenty-seven year old athlete, child care worker. Uh, I'll talk to him. Let me let me see. Oh my gosh, dude, this is ridiculous. Gregory Salazar, is that nine nine hundred and thirty thousand dollars in debt? He has a good tenant history, though. All right. I, I think we're going to give it to him. He's He's got the best salary we've seen. Ooh, mobster influencer. This is kind of a mobster's house, if we're being honest. Excellent tenant history. Criminal report. Not Nothing, actually. Interesting. Okay, I'm I'm going to give it to Elia Mendez. Let's follow her around. What up, girl? You, you work for the mob? You handle... Oh, shoot. She left. She didn't even want to make an offer on it. Another mobster. Here we go. Look at her. She likes it. So her name is Sandra Valencia. Let me see what we've got going on here. Dude, we, we're getting so many text messages. She's got a lot of debt, no history though, and she's a good tenant. All right, I'm down for it. If she likes the place, let me see what she thinks of it. See what she thinks of our microwave. While she loves it, I'm going to come in hot. 120 days, $24,000 a month. Let's see what you think about that. That is outrageous. She's going to come back at 17. I'm gonna make her 22,650. She's gonna come back at 19. I'm gonna say let's let's meet at a cool 2017. 20. Oh, she went back down. All right, whatever. I'll take it. So that's gonna complete our our latest objective. All right. So by far our biggest purchase and our biggest renovation. We spent you know over 500k on the house and spent over 100k renovating it. We're gonna be bringing in a lot of money each month which is pretty exciting and it looks like we want to see to all of our tenants needs and make them happy throughout the full length of the lease duration so i'm gonna do that myself i'm gonna grind it out to be honest i i mean the, the other one's a money maker what in the fudge is going on here that's a big bowl of soup bro uh, um th this this other one that we have shoot we gotta we gotta pay our bills here the other, we've got so many. I'm going to send a pro in. I just don't even care. The other house that we have over here, the Archwood Avenue. I mean, this this one is just, it's it's kind of a handful with so many people. I might just make it one big bedroom and rent it out to one person. We'll see what happens. I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys later. Peace out.